my dynamic symmetry and gift is also can, called dyslexia in the world out there. And in what I do, it's a great, it's a great asset to have. Etching engraving is done upside down, and I can see upside down, right side up, and reverse. So it started with two theatrical people who thought that Montreal would be, uh, uh, the streets of Montreal were paved with gold. My mother could play 10 hours of her music. She could play 10 hours without the music. She could, she could do anything. My father also was a genius. My father was an artist who tried to make a living painting Disney on wood. And he let me, because he knew who I was, he let me put the white in the eyes. So I had this great cultural beginning. I was always the reader, the artist, the, the scholar. But when they threw me into an English Protestant school, I could speak German, Dutch, and French, but I couldn't speak English. They couldn't tell whether I was intelligent or not, uh, literally, because I couldn't speak. But when she gave me these puzzles, I just took them and started to play and could, could make the designs. And she went, wow, you know, this one is smart. The puzzles were my savior. It's mathematical chaos, meaning that a fellow called Benoit Mandelbrot proved to the mathematical community only when they were big computers. He couldn't prove it before. He could prove what crystals and how they're made. They're made by duplicating the same pattern over and over, and I have this in my head. I have the gift of total photo recall all the way back to childhood. Scenes, people, faces, emotions. I don't do numbers and I don't do names, but I do language as well. Remember, Hebrew, Arab, and Oriental is written backwards, and the dyslexia gives me the full range of both sides of my brain. So therefore, it, uh, it, um, it just pulls in everything that the ordinary person who just uses one side doesn't, doesn't have, so it's a gift. Bernardo Exus, it's uh, a signature piece. Uh, represents, again, also the, this dyslexia, which is the both sides of the brain, the ambidextrous, this need to use just more than uh, just the regular linear and regular world. Hubert is the master major fresco artist between here and New York. I seen uh, Jean Poulet's uh, artwork and I was just, I was just totally blown away. I was just really intrigued by her dynamic symmetry. Just her complexity and uh, being able to put her figures and put the, the, the different uh, images together to form composition is uh, really wonderful. I mean, I get truly inspired from that. The CC Flora 7 play paints was just important for her and became my signature piece. I gave CC squirt paints. I put the piece of paper right here on the floor. We, she squirted it, she finger painted it. So grandma took purple and white and delineated her smears. And all of a sudden, everybody was going, Wow, how did you do that? My legacy is to show people what they can do with an impediment, what they can do with energy. Because there is a, a young lady, Beard, she's the definitive authority on schizophrenia. She says that if we eliminated bipolar schizophrenia, dyslexia, any of the impediments, we wouldn't have any artists, poets, musicians, you take away Beethoven, all of these people, because they had to be manic and out of the box to do what they did. I'd like to be known as a woman of integrity, of uh, wanting to make change. Wanting to make change.